Stay tuned and let's build and review this Marvel Legends Mr. Hyde Build-A-Figure. Pow and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan. Who? And remember, you can now hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Quite simply, show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. Today, we are at the end of another Marvel Legends wave. And this time, it was the Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings movie wave, a.k.a. The Mr. Hyde Builder Figure wave. Now, what does Mr. Hyde have in relation to Shang-Chi? We don't know, but still it's a new figure for our shelves. Not one that I was clamoring for, I must admit, but still a nice reuse of this body that we've now got a couple of times. So no complaints from me, it's another new character for the shelf. So if you, like me, want to build Mr. Hyde, then you will have to buy both movie and comic characters. Yes, I know, waves are mixed. Oh wow. But to do that, you will need to buy all six figures in that wave to have all of the pieces here on the table. They include Shang-Chi, Wen Wu, Zha Ling, Death Dealer, Civil Warrior, and Tony Stark AI Iron Man. You buy all six of those figures, you will have all of the pieces you see on the table. And you, like me, can build Mr. Hyde. So I'm going to try and do this on camera. I will have to use some behind the camera strength though eventually. Um, but there's the head on there. That head is mean looking as well. So head goes on, no problem at all. The arms usually go on, no problem. There you go, you can hear the clicks. There you go. At first I thought this was a weapon for Wen Wu, but no, it is of course. Mr. Hyde's cane. So there he is. And then there's his legs. So I'm going to go behind the camera and put these legs on because these are always pretty awkward to put on. But yeah, you get your legs on, Mr. Hyde. You know the score. Pow! And here we have Mr. Hyde all built up in his green glory. Now, Mr. Hyde is one of those public domain characters. That is how Marvel get away with him being in their sort of canon. But you know the story of Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It's a scientist that basically turns crazy and bulking and... Yeah, it's, it's because of a potion or whatnot. But there he is, Mr. Hyde, with his bowler hat, uh, his gritty teeth, and then his cane as well. And I like how the cane will fit nicely in his hand and literally sits on the floor. Um, and we get no interchangeable hands, but uh, at least we get one sort of grabby hand, if you will, and then the other one to hold his cane. Um, but it's a nice-looking figure. Again, not particularly a character I was personally clamouring for, but it is still a new character, and you know I like adding new characters to the shelf. I'm not a completionist, when it comes to Legends, believe it or not, but I do like having at least one representation of each character on the shelf. And again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we've got a Mr. Hyde in Legends form before, or even like Marvel Select or anything. But if I'm wrong, let me know. But I don't even think the Toy Biz did a Mr. Hyde. But I could be wrong. I didn't do my research before this video, but uh, I'm sure the, the comments will educate me. But uh, let's zoom in and check him out. Let's start off at this disgusting head sculpt. He looks like an angry, drunk Irishman. Yes, it's a stereotype. He's wearing green, but still, you know what I mean. Look at that. It looks disgusting. So he's got these gritted yellow teeth, which is separate plastic uh, underneath uh, the actual head. I'll show you that in a minute. The red bloodshot eyes um, after taking his potion. And I like how the green and the eyes is a little bit metallic. Like I'm not sure how well that's coming across on camera, but it's like a little bit metallic, so it shines under the lights, which is really good. I like that. The hair hat is obviously this bowler hat, which is molded on there. That won't come off at all. But he's got these sideburns, and then the hair is like uh, a separate mold that hangs underneath the hat, so it gives it that sort of frizzled effect. So yeah, disgusting head sculpt, but it, for the right reasons, of course. It's Mr. Hyde. You need an angry, crazed guy, and that's exactly what we've got. Um, yeah, the eyebrows, the expression, and uh, as I said, it's if I pop that off, you can see underneath, it's a separate bit of plastic they're using for the teeth so they didn't have to paint it. So it's literally just the, the mold, uh, but it works. The bow tie seems to be stuck on there. Um, and that, yep, yeah, that's underneath there with the collar, buttons down, and he's got like a three piece suit on. So let me move this out of the way. So it seems like a three piece, but this sort of front piece is actually attached to the jacket. So you can't peel apart the jacket because this 
is all one big piece. If you see what I mean, I can get my finger into there. So this bit is attached to the jacket. So that's one big overlay for Mr. Hyde. Um, but it goes all the way down to the tails, just over the thighs, and there is a spy swivel so that hides that. There are some buttons, and the sculpt of the jacket's nice enough, I guess, it does the job. Spin it around, not much more on the back, a little bit of detail, but mainly just the green jacket. Moving down to the legs we've seen before, black shoes with some sculpted detail we've seen before. Uh, he gets his cane, of course, uh, and if I show you, if that will focus, there is some like scratches and marks and scruffs on it. So he's definitely hit a few people with it. He's got into something with that. Um, and as I said, he's got one grippy hand. So again, there's the, if it will focus. So there's some scruffs and marks and scratches. And there's the first hand that he can use to hold the cane. And he's got like hairy, hairy ape style hands. That's even painted on there as well. Uh, and then this hand as well. So that's a grip hand. I spin it around and you'll see all the hair and stuff as well on that. So, uh, yeah, as I said, interesting reuse. I don't mind Hasbro doing reuse for figures when it works. And as I said, this is a different character at least. And they hide it well enough. Sorry, I'm just trying to put the, the uh, cane back in his hand. He can just hold it like that, by the way. Um, so you don't have to sort of put it in the way I did. But still, any way you want. But uh, yeah, I don't hate when Hasbro do reuse for a character when it works. And uh, this looks different enough to the other figures. But uh, let's not just talk about it. Let's have a look at them, shall we? These are the figures I'm talking about. So this is the Joe Fix-It Builder Figure, aka the Game of Us Hulk. And then we have the Retro Kingpin. Obviously, we do get the Builder Figure Kingpin as well. So these share some similar parts. Definitely these two more so than Kingpin. I do think this was a new molded uh, body. Uh, so yeah, the suits are the same. It's just the overlays are different. So obviously, you've got the tie. But if you move that tie out of the way, you can see the same buttons on the shirt that are on this guy. It's just that he has the bow tie up top. So they do hide it very well when they are doing reuse. Uh, this jacket is obviously an overlay that's attached. Like this one is an overlay, but it looks like a free piece. Kingpins is a free piece, but you can actually pry apart the jacket where you can't on uh, Joe Fix It. Uh, not Joe Fix It, Mr. Hyde, what am I talking about? But uh, yeah, you see what I mean? They look similar, but they are all different enough to stand out on your display as different characters. Even the shoes down here, Joe Fix It has the white stripe compared to Mr. Hyde. Um, he doesn't get any interchangeable hands like some of these got, unfortunately. But again, for a character that I wasn't massively excited about, I'm fine having him posed up as simple as this and then him living as the representation of Mr. Hyde on the shelf. Um, do we get Jekyll now? Who knows? Who knows? But uh, still, these look nice. Uh, so again, don't mind the reuse. Interesting character. I'm still very curious why Hasbro picked Mr. Hyde to go with this Shang-Chi uh, Legend of the Ten Rings movie wave. I don't know. But uh, let's quickly go over the articulation. So the articulation isn't amazing, but it is a big, beefy character that you're only going to pose up so much anyway on the shelf. But there you go. Arms won't even go up to 90. They will swivel, and there is a single joint at the elbow. All the hands have a hinge up and down. The head's on a uh, dumbbell joint, but if you move his head really far back, it will just pop off. So you're getting a little bit of wiggle room on the head. Let me get that back on there. Um, he can nod his head. That's about it. But he can't really look down much. There seems to be some sort of ab crunch or or diaphragm joint under the jacket but it is hindered by this big cylinder that is the jacket it's all one piece is sort of keeping it in place i've also just noticed he's got suspenders on underneath his jacket as well i didn't notice that when i was looking at that before suspenders to keep those trousers up of course um so yeah the arms will go out as i said there is a, a swivel at the thigh which is hidden by the tails of the jacket so i don't mind that there's a single jointed knee uh, there is a hinge on the foot, but only a little one. And there is an ankle pivot, but you've got to work it to get it to work. Legs go forward a little bit, so we can do a bit of kicking. Back, not really much at all. Um, and again, you can't arch backward either because the jacket's so tight. So the articulation isn't great, but for me, a character like this is going to be posed up and just live like that on the shelf. So I can get him into a decent enough pose that I'm happy with. So yeah, jumping into some comparisons, I've already showed you Mr. Hyde next to Joe Fixer and the Kingpin. So here we have the other comic book slash game of those figures from this wave because i guess technically mr hyde and this ai tony stark iron man are the only comic book figures in this shang chi and the legend of the ten rings movie wave because civil warrior is technically a game of those figure so again it's one of those wave that has a mix of comic and movie and then here we have the movie figures from this mr hyde builder figure wave which of course all from the shang chi and the legend of the ten rings movie so here we have xia ling shang chi wen wu and the death dealer now maybe Hasbro knows something we don't 
and Mr. Hyde is actually the real Mandarin and the big bad of the movie. And we've all been fooled. Who knows? And last, but by no means least, here we have how far Hank compared to the Mr. Hyde Builder figure. So final thoughts on Mr. Hyde. Definitely an interesting choice for a Builder figure amongst this heavy MCU Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings movie wave. So yeah, no one would have guessed Mr. Hyde for the Builder figure, but still, we got it. It's here now. It's going to the shelf, added to the collection, if you will. And I'm not mad about it because I don't have a Mr. Hyde and I think the reuse here is hidden well enough where it does represent a different character without me looking at it thinking, oh, that's just the repaint of the Hulk. No, there's enough difference here to represent the new character for my collection. So yeah, no complaints from me, Mr. Hyde for the shelf. So you let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, are you happy to add Mr. Hyde to the collection or is it a character that you wasn't too excited about? As I said, it's one of those public domain characters that appears all over the place and has its place within Marvel, I guess. So uh, yeah, you let me know what you think in the comments below. But if you like Marvel Legends, then trust me, you're in the right place. And this is the Builder figure, of course. So go and check out the whole playlist for every Every of the single figure in this wave right now on the channel but most importantly please 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 hit that subscribe button much much appreciated you can now hit that join button and become a channel member as well quite simply show some love or join the members club much much appreciated come and join me on our live stream very very soon legends and liquor all that good stuff definitely looks like mr hyde has had too much liquor that's for sure with those red eyes but yes follow me on instagram it's dan who on twitter at dan who reviews and i will of course see you on the next one